Yo, what's up guys? Chase the Bro here, and today we're going to be taking a look at Marika's Hammer, a weapon of the Hammer class, with optimal scaling and strength, but does still get very good scaling and faith, so I kind of have a strength faith build going on here. I did hit 54 strength, that way when I two-handed, I hit the 80 strength breakpoint for the two-handed damage scaling, and then I put the rest of the points into faith. Alternatively, you could actually invest them into dexterity, and it does give you a little bit better damage output on the actual hammer. But the Ash of War scales off the AR of the weapon in both Holy and Physical. So I figured I'd go with the, a little bit of the Faith. Just in case the AoE part of the Ash of War is more from the Faith damage. As for the moveset of the weapon, very similar to other hammers. You have the standard two-handed lights. The heavy attack you can charge release when you like. Really good roll catches if they happen to roll around you. But there is not a lot of range on this. So it is really only good if they happen to be rolling by you or around you. The running attack isn't the fastest, but you do kind of have a build up before you actually use the attack. So a lot of people might roll a little early and get roll caught by it. Same with the running heavy, it has a build up before the actual strike. So if they happen to roll early, it's useful for you. The one handed moveset can be pretty good as well. It does have the horizontal strike, so it's a little bit easier to manually aim, hit your opponent, but it does do less poise damage this way. Two handed always has a little bit more poise damage, so I prefer to two hand most of my weapons. As for the Ash of War, it is a somber smithing stone weapon, so we do only have access to the one unique Ash of War, Gold Breaker. Kind of has a slow start up for it, and then you launch the strike with the AoE. Pretty big AoE though, and if people happen to roll that a little bit early, you're going to get really good damage output out of it. Although I find it kind of easy to react dodge myself in 1v1s, maybe we'll get it a little bit easier in invasions. I'm still going to be trying to land it throughout the duels though, just to see how much damage output we can do with it. As for the choice of Talisman, we start off with the Ritual Shield Talisman, and then I swap to the Claw Talisman after I take that first hit. I tend to use the Claw Talisman pretty often just because jumps can be used to make your opponent panic, and it's really easy to get a roll catch that way. And then I have the Shard of Alexander to boost the Ash of War, the Crimson Amor Medallion plus 2 for the HP boost, and the Bulgo Talisman to increase my poise. That's all I really have to say about the weapon though, let's just see how it performs in the duels and in the invasions. Alright, heading into our first battle, we have Yum Yum Blood. Hello Yum Yum Blood. I'm guessing a bleed build, if not, I don't know what that name is for at all. <laughs> the run the running out of the damn emotes looks hilarious. Ooh. Oh, that first one comes out quicker than you think. Let's enhance the jump attack here so I can try to get a stagger into the Ash of War. <laughs> I was going to try to free aim it. Oh, that's actually pretty good bait uh, as a trade there. Katanas do do the most uh, poise damage, so that can be kind of useful. <laughs> oh, and it's got a deceptive range as well. Okay. That's not too bad as an Ash of War. You just have to use it strategically. The startup is very slow. But it's got a really big AoE, so. Heading into our next battle, we have Mantis Moray. Alright, Mantis, what do you got? So you got a bow of some kind. You're a mantis, so you're going to be trying to use poison? Is, is bow your main route here? Possibly? No. Alright, so you also have the claws. With Royal Knight Resolve. Fear. Follow up. Trades. We both have lots of stamina. Oh, that was a bad trade for me though. Honestly? Not the worst, I suppose. I may heavy roll with those. We dodge the rocks. We dodge your whip and the rocks. Alright, Mantis Murray. Bam! Oh, I thought he was going to try to hit me with an actual sword <laughs> at the end. Very fun fight though, Mantis. Every time I account for my build to load, I never account for these being both very heavy. <laughs> so that is rough. Moving into our next opponent, we have Medi. Medi with the lance. I like your outfit, Medi. My hammer is going to be hard to combat that with, but I will try my best. Bonk. Backstab? No backstab. Bonk. <laughs> Slower bonk into maybe faster bonk. Nice. He dodged it a little bit early. Oh, that could have been good. Oh, out of the air. Ah, oh, very fun fight, Medi. Good use of the lance. Definitely still one of my favorite weapons, I think, the lance. Just because it poise breaks really well, and it's got a lot of, like, potential for pressure. 
Moving on to our next opponent, we have hey. Ebon Dark. Hello hey. there. With the dual. Oh my god, the anchors. A thing of beauty, the anchors. I don't know. Oh, I was going to say, I don't know how that didn't trade with me. I really thought both were going to hit me, to be completely honest. No jump attack? Did I poise one of those? I guess I have enough poise to take a one handed great hammer. Or great axe, I guess. I forget which category those are in, even though I've used it quite a lot. Take my golden hammer. It's made of gold. <laughs> I also have that. That's a, little, that's a pretty large spacing for a halberd type of thing. He's getting kind of low. He's getting frantic. The halberd didn't work for him. <laughs> we got a backstab on the pebble. All right. Fun fight, man. That was an interesting swap. Kind of wasn't expecting that at all. Not at all. Moving on to our next opponent, we have Doctimus. Oh, I haven't used the crab yet. Let's go. All right, Doctimus, what do you got? Warcry with a straight sword. Okay. And sleep on the secondary one. Oh, that was dangerous spacing. I'm glad the sword doesn't have the best range because that would have been pretty bad for me. The second part of the Ash of War does pretty good damage. Ah, <laughs> unfortunate. Uh, let's heal the Frostbite. Just so he doesn't get free damage. Honestly, I feel like using those also it makes them aggressive for a second. Which I can use to trade with the hammer at least. Ooh. Eh, I don't want the backstab. Seemed like it was going to be an attempt. R2. I missed. <laughs> I just r one my way towards them since I know I can uh, trade. Oh, well, that worked. You know, dual straight sword's very powerful, but hammer apparently can work. Hey. Uh, Zazzle is the next combatant. Hello there. Has a halberd. The standard. Well, she has the banish net halberd. Always a good weapon, though. Like, halberd class in this in general is just very effective. Could have delayed it a little bit more, honestly. Oh! Two hammer hits. That's some Dark Souls 3 type fighting right there. Bam! Oh, he had enough time. No. I thought I could maybe use that as like an opportunity to trade into. Oh, I thought it was going to be the frostbite. I don't know why. I don't know why I thought that at all, to be honest. Woo! One of those hits me. I'm gone. Hang on, sir. I'm making things happen over here. Okay, I'm ready. At least if I do damage to you, it'll be a substantial damage. <laughs> like that. Yeah. Not the breath. That goes pretty far. Okay, we're good. Take my ice pebble. <laughs> Ooh, that would be very good at finishing me, to be honest. Oh, he wanted to trade it. He's like, damn it. <laughs> now I can do my chip damage finish. I see you. I see your plan. I'm wearing you down. It's going to be a, a, a hero's story. Back from zero. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that worked out pretty well. Was not expecting <laughs> the sacred bleed, to be honest. Ooh, the cuckoo knight. Cuckoo knight. Hello there. All right. No. <laughs> oh, I haven't actually seen Moog Spear in a while. Always a good weapon, to be honest. Just, I haven't seen it. Not lately, anyway. Ooh, a little packet lossy. That worked out in my favor right there, though, to be honest. The bleed buildup isn't the highest. Kind of nice. Bonk. I thought he was going to try to trade again. Ooh. Recovery's a little slow on that. Ooh, okay. Took two to the face. Trade? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Not a trade, I actually just hit him before the attack even came out. Well, fun fight, man. Moving on to our next opponent, we have Schizo User. Uh, so, Madness to buff himself up. 
Lowers the defense a bit. Oh shit, I'm sorry. I, I didn't I didn't expect a second buff. I'm sorry. You can buff. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> I really didn't expect the sacred buff. That is it's completely my bad. Oh, eruption. Interesting. And I went right into it. Honestly, the lava should do a little bit more damage. That's kind of hard to land as it stands. So, honestly, madness. Ooh, honestly, he was so close to landing that. I'm just gonna appreciate that. Oh, that was a good time for me to use that. <laughs> okay, well, fun fight. It was like a madness build with, I don't even know what else he's using. Just sacred buff. Abyss is our next opponent. All right, with the lightning buff on the katana. Hello, Abyss. I have no buff for my weapon. You throw a knife at me. <laughs> I often do that towards the end, so it's fair. So Abyss wants to either chip damage off my ritual shield talisman. Honestly, delayed jumps are just so good. Just jump and then wait towards the end of it and they often roll away. Ah, I just gotta delay that a little bit more. He seems to kind of wait a second before reacting. Oh, those both hit me. Oof, that's unfortunate. Right, I keep getting to these one-shot ranges. <laughs> Good thing for my defense boost. <laughs> that is, I see your plan, sir. I'm not a fan of it, but I see what you're... Oh, I keep thinking I'm out of range or I dodge, but I don't. <laughs> okay. Bam. Nice. <laughs> he wants me gone. <laughs> he needs FP juice though, and I could punish him once I get to him. I just gotta watch out. One of those katana swings will end me. Nice, but the dagger didn't. What do I have? One health. <laughs> I literally have like one HP right now. <laughs> okay, that was like battle of the scum finish right there. <laughs> me and him, he pulled out the dagger to burn through me whether I roll or not, but thankfully there was a pillar. Vigor check. Are, are, are you the vigor check or am I from your build? Oh, okay. Maybe. If you would have done both, I might have agreed. Only one though, that's interesting. Two Royal Knight Resolves would be a pretty severe vigor check, yeah. Backstab? False backstab. Ooh, okay. Bring out the vigor check, let's go. I'm going up. And then I'm coming down. <laughs> and then I'm going up again. <laughs> I'm coming down. <laughs> Alright, come back here, vigor check. I need you. Bam! Get hit by this again. Bam! Oh, that looked like it was gonna be the finish I needed. This is new, the new finish. <laughs> Goodbye, Vigor check. You didn't get to check me. I was actually kind of scared. That with the claw talisman and the, the chest piece. We're on that resolve. I don't know how much damage that would have done. Heading into the final battle, we have Mr. Fister. Yes. <laughs> but you're not using a fist weapon. You know, the name like that, you need the, the Cestus or something there, else it's, it's just, it's just a lie. <laughs> okay, so far I like how you're playing. Oh, I didn't think that would reach me from that range, but I always misjudge judge the range of the running R2. Oof. So I'm going to just be doing this really quick. Bonk. Into jump bonk. Into R1. Okay, we keep doing that. Hmm, hard to say. He landed a running R2, so there's there's that. I was gonna say hard to say who's winning on those light trades. Um Oh, I had the time to dodge that, very nice. <laughs> See? The backstab attempts, man, they just they get you. And not in a good way.
Oh, that's gonna hit me. Alright, dodged the blood loss at the end there, though, so that's good. Helmet off. We go mode. We dodge these. Yes. This is final. Final form. <laughs> Where our damage will... I think it's good enough to tank the dagger R1 at the very least. Not good enough to tank the, the bloody Helis. Yep. <laughs> Everybody gets really desperate for that final hit. I've used this so much today. <laughs> Heading into the first invasion, we've invaded Wylaf, and I am not in a place I enjoy. I'm currently on a tree of doom. I use my physic. I do so many of the duels, I forget about my physic a lot of the time. Alright, what do we got going on here? Oh, we got me taking a dragon breath to the face. Oh, this tree being an absolute chad and saving me. We dodged. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Wait! Oh, I wasn't even looking. What did the host do? I walked here, I turned around. What could. Oh, maybe he dodged a bubble and died? Moving on to the next invasion, we have Doll's Beep. We all know what that is, sir. Uh, you're not fooling anyone. Alright, Doll's Beep. Faith build? Wizard build. That is a slow command, man. Oh, your lucky ears has the arc. We got a power wizard back there. Full charge in all of his casts. Oh boy. Okay, you know, those those don't scare me as much as any other spells, to be honest. Those never really have. Alright. I'm going in with this. How do you guys feel? The wizard was supposed to try to hit me. Oh, the host is a secret wizard. An int build? Wait, how do you have a moon veil? And the tree sentinel spear for Albert. I am confused. That's a very unoptimal build. Oh, he still has iframes. <laughs> Guess he just wants moon veil. Fairy works for most people. Oh, I was gonna go for the backstab, but there's wizardry coming my way, isn't there? Indeed, there is. Nice. Tree saved me. Hey there. Oh, wizard up top. Nice. I accidentally hit the host, but it worked out. <laughs> Goodbye, host. All I need to dodge wizards is sound and sound alone. <laughs> Wizard! <laughs> Moving into the second invasion, we've invaded Henshi. Oh, hello there, sir. Oh, you got a shield and an ally. You're both sun bros. Well, one missed. Or frost stomp. You don't see that often. Oh, coming went through the ground. Down. <laughs> okay. That's probably aimed at me. Yeah. Thank you for stopping him. That was getting ridiculous. Oh, there goes Holy Templar. <laughs> he died to holy damage. Thank you. <laughs> that guy is just set up for that. Goodbye, other sir. This Ash of War doing work. <laughs> I like Henchy. You're beautiful. Thank you. You don't see this weapon very often, right? So, uh, I'll give you a bow. All right, let's do it, Henchy. You got a shield and a heavy thrusting sword, so this could become difficult, depending on if you shield poke often or not. I dodged it. <laughs> Oh, but then he dodged it. Oh, I got a backstab, though. Um, R2? Yeah, R2 worked well there. Fun fight, Henshi. 
You did dodge my beautiful Ash of War, but <laughs> it worked out for me in the end. All right, those are all the battles that I have for you guys for today with the America's Hammer. I hope everyone enjoyed the showcase. Once again, there's my stats on the right, the armor that I wore, the talismans that I utilized throughout the showcase, and of course, keep commenting other weapons, builds, and ashes of war you'd like to see. We're making really good progress at this point. I don't, I'm not really, I'm not really sure how many weapons I have left, but I feel like there's still quite a few. So comment the ones below that you think I haven't used yet, and I'll get to them as soon as I can. Until the next video, though, this is goodbye. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all later. Goodbye. Bye.